So okay, we're just waiting for everyone to join. Hello. Hello. We are just waiting for everyone to join. Hopefully we'll have some viewers. Some viewers. This is going to be weird because I'm going to see myself on the screen in a minute. Da da da. Yeah, I think we're a wee minute earlier too, aren't we? Ah, I shall. This is so weird. Look, I can see myself on there and on there <laughs> and on there and on there. So let's wait for everyone to join. Because people will take a wee couple of minutes anyway, you know what I mean? Grab yourself a drink. This is delayed. Look. What? Watch. <laughs> That's so weird. funny. <laughs> this is so cool. Are you, are you nervous? A little bit. Why? Just am. All right. People, oh, people will join. People will join. But I will even share it to say that we're on. Yeah? Mm-hmm. If anyone appears, tell me. Is there anybody out there? Hello, hello, <laughs> is there anybody out there? Uh, there's one person on. Hi. Hi. Hello. We're going to start in two wee seconds, so if you're watching and you can hear me, say hello. Hmm. Oh, there's two people watching. This is very exciting. Fab. Mm. Or is one person? Oh, someone disappeared and left us. Shocking. How sad. Who is the one person watching? Do we know? No. Drop us a comment. Say hello. Well, it's fine. I can see them now anyway. Who is it? Who are we saying hello to? It's Megan. There's Megan. Hi, Hi Megan. So I'm just watching everyone come in. <laughs> this is very exciting. Oh. Two again. We're famous. I know. <laughs> hey, hens. Hi, love. This is so exciting. Megan, you're the only one watching the now, so we're waiting a couple of minutes. Nobody will. Oh, we've got another person. Who? Don't know. Sarah Cook. Hi, Sarah. Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Hi. Welcome. This is so exciting. Right, another two wee minutes in there. Do you know we look quite good on our computer, to be fair? Not bad. Oh, not bad. Not bad. <laughs> Anyone else? Yes. Oh. Mum and Gran's watching too. Oh, hi sis. Hi mum. Hello <laughs> Mary Hen. <laughs> so, that's good. That's good to know. Right, let's get started. People will join as we start. Okay. So go for it. So, welcome to our Facebook Live. First Facebook Live for David at Darcy's. I'm David. That's Joe. Hi. Say hi, Joe. I'm being quiet tonight. This <laughs> is Whoopi. Say hello, Whoopi. Hello. Oh, and this big scruff freak is Reyes. Hi, Reyes. Hello. Okay, so tonight we're just going to tell you a little bit about Darcy's, who they are, what types of products they do, and what their best selling range is. We're also going to let you know about our Halloween special. And we're also going to release the Christmas range. I've already smelt them. I've not smelt them yet. I really like to smell them. Joe's not. So it's going to no be happy. a surprise. No happy. And then we'll do a wee Q&A at the end if anybody wants to ask any questions. And please do. Because we've never done this and Deb's never done this before and it's good for him. And no. it's good for his business. And yeah, it's going to be good to find out what you've been up to the last couple of months. Absolutely. So... For anyone that doesn't know, I started Darcy's at the beginning of August and I absolutely fell in love with the products and Darcy's is a candle company which was formed in 2011 by our CEO Jackie. Now Jackie was fed up of buying stuff from you know different shops and the things weren't living up to her expectations so she decided to start making her own. So she looked into the different products and decided that she was going to make some soy wax melts in the kitchen. 
So she made them up and she then gathered some interest from friends, family and she decided this could be a profitable business. So she looked into a business entrepreneurship and got the mentoring and decided this is what she was going to do and take it forward. And she met our sales director, Claire. Hi, at, Claire. Hi, Claire. She met our sales director, Claire, at a market. And they got talking and decided that the best way to take it forward was direct selling. Because it wasn't working in retail when she was up against all the sort of big brands. We'll not mention the names, but you know who they are. So that's how it all began. And the products are absolutely amazing. Joe, well... So, David won't mention the brands, but you know the brands, and anyone that knows me will very much be aware that I was addicted to another sort of brand, um, but do you know what, I just get sick of all the heartburn, and they never lasted very long, you would burn them once and that was it. When David first started this, I thought, oh come on, it's just another one of those fads, but oh my god, what an amazing business, and the smells are incredible, like you really just, it, oh my god, wait till you smell them, wait till you smell them. So, that's how it began, and Darcy's is named after Jackie's daughter as well, so that's just something that you should know. All the products, hi Jacqueline, hi Shell, all the products that we do are all soy wax, so they're non-toxic, they're biodegradable. Funny point, when you used to, see when he told me it was soy candles, I thought soy was milk, or soy sauce for Chinese, I didn't know you could put soy in wax. So there um, you go. But it's actually amazing. It's actually amazing. Yeah. And it burns a lot longer. Sorry, I'm still in the Yeah, thank you. Um, so, soy wax, um, is, it burns 30 to 50% longer than paraffin wax because there's no toxins inside it. And it also holds its scent a lot longer. Hi, Linda. It also holds its scent a hell of a lot longer as well. So, you're getting a better product for it. So, on that note, unless Joe's got anything to say... I think we're just going to swing so, right into the product. If you see me disappearing, it's because I'm actually commenting as we go. Um, and although we'll talk about the scents and the products, we're not going to, we can't go through them all because it's Friday night and no one wants to listen to us for four hours. Yeah. Um, but as we go through them, we'll talk about them. And if you've yeah. got any questions as we go, I'll try and answer them as we go. But if not, we'll do the Q&A at the end. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think we should just go right into what products you have, yeah. what you have on offer and what you can actually sell to our nine audience members. Oh, we're up to ten. Hi, Hi boys. Emma. Who's Emma? Emma's my upline. <gasps> Hi, boss. <laughs> Hi, boss. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start off with our wax melts. <laughs> my lovely assistant will show you. Can you go up a little bit closer? It looks like a wee love heart. Okay. But that's a better side of it. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Donna Marie. So, our wax melts. That's the booklet as well. Our wax melts. <laughs> You get eight in a box, and they're all love heart shaped, and they come in over 55 cents, and you'll get a burn time of 28 hours, if not more, from them. I tend to find that if you put one in your wax burner, it lasts for a long time. So, you agree? the ones that I used to use, now, I used to get them at the supermarket, and, you know, you'd pay like a pound 25 each. You would burn it once, and then the next day you would need to probably cut it out of the burner. Yeah. And it was just a mess. And it, after you, when you go to burn it the second time, it just didn't last very long. And it just got to a point you just get really pissed off by paying a pound twenty five for every single melt. Would you agree? Too expensive. So it's four pound fifty for a box of eight melts. For eight. Eight. Oh my God. So that is good. You're definitely getting your money's worth from it. Um, I should say that the wax melts, eight of them, come in a box, a Darcy's branded box. Now this is a candle box, but that's just to give you an idea of our branding and packaging. It's like a, a half the size version of that. It's really nice. Yeah. Very posh, very luxurious. And they're amazing. So they come in over 55 cents and some of our best sellers, monkey farts. We have to talk about monkey farts. Yeah. So, Monkey Farts is one of Megan's favourites. Hi, Megan. Shell. Um, Shell, yes. So, in Shell's house, um, David is known as the Monkey Farts man because he always brings the Monkey Farts to the door. Um, do you know what the scent reminds me of? Do you ever remember that um, Umbungo, the little juice drink you got when you were a kid? Yep. That's what it smells like, lit up. 
And yeah. I personally think it smells like Jacqueline Donna, you do need monkey parts in your life. Sunbeds, if you've ever been to the sunbeds, it smells like the sunbed lotion. And it also smells like holidays. Yeah. Do you know when you go into holiday in Spain and you walk into the reception of Greece or Spain or something and that sort of holiday smell hits you? Yeah. It's like the first moment you walk into your hotel on holiday. And who doesn't want that when they walk out of their house at night after being freezing all day at work? I must admit, it's the best part I have ever smelled in my whole life. Even I. Um, some of our other best sellers are Moonlight Pomegranate, which is one of your faves. So, we'll talk about this later, but the large candle you can see behind me, that is the Moonlight Pomegranate Burning, and it is absolutely fantastic. It's such a unique smell. Um, this is how I picture it, and I try to explain this to Div today in the car when we're talking about this. And, do you remember, if anyone's ever seen The Little Mermaid, um, you know the bit where they're in the water and it's all nice at night and Sebastian's singing sha la 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 don't stop now, kiss the girl and it's that dark. I imagine that they can smell that. That's yeah. the smell I get from it. So it makes me think of nighttime strolls with Ariel under the sea. So if you called. like... I get too excited though. The Little Mermaid, then you will like them. We, um, had, we had the Moonlight Pomegranate on your special as well, didn't yeah. we? That was and one of the best sellers. And that's why I got it and I'm blown away. Um, my personal favourite is pink sugar because it smells like candy floss and it's super strong and it lasts forever and it's absolutely amazing. That's true. All of them are super strong. Super strong? Super strong. Super strong, yeah. So you're killing Jacqueline when you're singing. Strong. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. So we're not going to go through all the scents um, but Monkey Farts is absolutely Amazing. You've got all your classics as well though. So yeah. there are ones out there where you'll get your, your clean cottons from everyone. Yeah. Darcy's have a great twist on that called Bath Time Bubbles, which just smells like Johnson's bath foam. Like yes. baby bath foam. Baby bath foam. Um, and it's brilliant. It's so, but see when Davis says they're so strong, they're so strong, but in a great way because they last forever. Like the melts will last until there's no melt left. Yep. So... That's the your melts. Fantastic. The melts are amazing. Everybody loves the melts. We also do the candles. So we've got our large candle. Now, the large candle is 300ml and it burns for 90 hours. That's actually better than some of the bigger brands will give you. Yep. It's actually the same size of candle. Now, the small candle is 130ml and that burns for 40 hours. Okay. You, you see can that, okay. see that. But that? what I want to show you is because it's soy wax. Do you want me to take the camera off so you can, no, you can just see inside it. it? Because it's soy wax, it burns clean. So you don't get any black soot. And it also burns flat so you don't get any pulling in your candle. You know sometimes if you light a candle and it basically burns down the middle. And it goes all black around the sides and, and stuff. And you kind of get the sides of it. That won't yeah. happen with these. They burn straight down. Um, again, there's loads of different scents. Michelle, just to answer your question, yes, um, yes. I will talk to you, see if you give us to the end of this, we'll, we'll do a wee Q&A, yep. um, but yes. We do do gift sets, which are amazing. Thank you, Linda. Thanks, Linda. Have a good night. Um, so, the candles, again, we've got loads of different scents on them. Um, they don't come in all the scents, they only really come in our best sellers, um, but... They're absolutely fantastic, and Emma, yeah, soy wax is definitely so much better because it doesn't release any toxins. It's absolutely fantastic. You don't have to clean your candle jars either with all the black soot, so it's much, much better. So that's our candles. The next thing we'll go into is your favourite product. So... This is the Reed Diffuser. So Now, I am going to be really honest right now, and I'm going to say I absolutely hated Reed Diffusers. Um, you would get them from like discount stores, supermarkets, for maybe 8, 9, 10 quid, and they were crap. I just didn't see the point in them, because it was putting sticks in water, and you turned them around once, and you couldn't smell them, um, unless it was in a wee tiny cupboard. And... The, the reeds themselves, once they were out of that package and they put them in, they just dried out. You couldn't smell anything. Yeah. 
I bought this on an off chance to say from now before as well. See when I buy stuff from David, <laughs> I get no discount. Yeah, no discount. It's a business. Raging. <laughs> um, so, but what I found is the reeds are really moist. They stay yeah. really moist. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I've just remembered something? Can we go back to the large candle quickly? Uh-huh. You forgot your top tip? I also forgot my top tip for the oil, eh, for the wax melt burner. Will we do some top tips quickly? Right, so These here's are some top tips. Candle top tips. So okay. for, for the melts? So for your wax melts. Div's okay. top tips number one. Melt in the freezer. That's backwards. <laughs> so my top tip number one, if you have got a wax burner, okay, and a lot of people use a knife to try and scrape out all the wax, but when the wax is solidified in the top of the burner, okay, put it in the freezer for 10 minutes and because of the coldness of the freezer, it shrinks the wax and you can pop it right out. So, saves you washing it, saves you scraping it, absolutely fantastic. And what okay. about the wicks, Dev? So the wicks. Top tip number two, trim your wick. If you don't trim your wick, then you're going to get a dancing flame and you're going to get a messy candle. Nobody wants a flappy wick or a messy wax candle. Trim your wick. Your wick should be 0 0.5 centimetres. Your wick should not be any longer. <laughs> Keep your wick short. It's not about the length. It's the shorter the better in this case. Size does not matter. Not in this case. No. So always trim your wick. As he will tell you. So it should be 0 0.5 centimetres and your flame should be no more than 1.5 centimetres. So trim your wick. And I have got... Talking, we can, we can go back to the reed diffuser now. So, right, so reed diffuser. So, the reed diffuser with Darcy's, we got it in the bedroom, and it is absolutely, th this is my favourite thing that Darcy's do. Now, I'm going to give you my top tip. Now, you don't have to do this, because what I find is, see when you turn the reeds round, our whole room smells like Lady Millionaire, which is part of the Inspired range at Darcy's, and it's really perfumey, really luxurious, it's really relaxing as well. It's amazing. But my top tip... Joe's top tip is flick your reeds. So see when you <laughs> see when you. I swear to God, this is what I do. See when you go up at night, lift them out and flick them onto the carpet and onto the bed, um, because it doesn't stain. No, nope. it'll dry in, um, and it just lifts the scent out, and it's 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 flicking brilliant. It's amazing. Now, one other thing I want to say about the reed diffuser is. Can you show them how much is left in it? Aye. Yeah. And we've had that for about three weeks now. Going on, that's a month. In fact, probably a month. A month. So we've had that a month. How long do they last up to? They, okay, so I'm not guaranteeing, but a lot of our customers have said that they last between six and nine months. Obviously, that's going to run down a bit quicker because Joe flicks it every single night. Hey! <laughs> that's, reads, another, that's another video, definitely. Um, but if you're not flicking it and you're just turning them, then that's potentially going to last you for six to nine months. Easy. Easy. So it, it's an investment and the packaging's amazing. It's it's just a beautiful reed diffuser. See, if, you're, if you've ever had the same experience as me with reed diffusers, because I genuinely did hate them, people used to buy them for Christmas, I put them in the bin because they were awful. Yeah. Um, all the way. All the way. I would so, actually say, although the melts are your probably most popular, yeah. your best value product yeah. is definitely reed diffuser. Absolutely. So that's your reed diffuser and next we're going to go on to our flameless scent range. So anyone that doesn't like burning candles on the oil burners or boil, uh, burning candles, we've got a flameless scent range and you've got your room spray. So it's a 100ml room spray okay, and it's odour neutralising as well. Now. These room sprays, you literally only need two or three sprays. Yeah. And it smells absolutely sensational. If you don't like flicking your reed, the room spray is the best thing. Yeah, absolutely. These I cannot recommend enough. They are absolutely amazing. And we only two to three sprays, that's going to last you for a long time. And because it's odour neutralising, everything's gone. Smells gone. You mm -hmm. will not actually smell anything other than that. This one is, again, one of our favourites, Monkey Farts. Everybody loves the Monkey Farts. So... It's one of those ones where, and what I will say is, is that all the products on offer, not all the scents are available on that, and that is just because 
different scents react differently with different ways they're produced, I guess. Yeah. Um, so you'll find that there's a lot more specifics for the reed diffuser, for the room sprays, yep. and for the, the next product. Okay, so the next thing we're going to show you is our aroma beads. So the aroma beads, these are absolutely brilliant. These are awesome. These are really good because you can use them as an air freshener in your car. I've got, I've got a couple in the car as air fresheners. They're also brilliant in bathrooms as well because although it may look just like a wee bag, because they're scented, they're so strong. So in the bathroom, we've had this in the bathroom for what? Three months? Two or three months. Two or three months and you can still smell it. This one is raspberry lemonade, and I would say that's a perfect bathroom scent. Raspberry lemonade really surprised me because, see, if you like when the cheaper ones, I don't keep saying the cheaper ones, or the other brands, raspberry lemonade I think would be really acidic, but yeah. it's really sweet and it smells exactly how it it's smells described. what it should be. Yeah, and and it's it's just it's a beautiful, beautiful scent. Um, we got loads of them with melts as well, and mm -hmm. they were awesome. Absolutely fantastic. Um, oh. Div's top tip oh, number four. Beads on tour. So when you're going on holiday and you're coming back, you open your suitcase, all you can smell, dirty washing. Soaking sun lotion. Pop soap them in your suitcase oh. and Whoa. they're brilliant. A lot of girls as well pop them in their handbag. Yeah. So their handbag smells amazing. Because you know what girls' handbags are like? Oh my God, the stuff they put in there. Yeah. So... They're good for that as well. We like for the, the pups as well in the dog bed. Yes. We like to put them underneath the top layer of bed. So when Ray stands up for a yawn, he just goes, oh, raspberry lemonade. So he loves it. Brilliant for everything. Yeah. Yeah. So let's have a wee quick recap. So what? let's hear some prices, Div. So how much okay. How much were your melts again? So melts are £4.50 for a box of eight. Can I just repeat as well? £4.50 for a box of eight. And the ones I used to buy were a pound twenty five each. Yep. And didn't last half as long. And not only that, there's another company out there which I won't mention. Well, we're just uh, shaming all these companies. <laughs> have just increased their prices. Um so Hi, have you seen this? We're getting a lot of customers from other company mm -hmm. um who much prefer our products. Um the small candle. The small candle's really good. Um it's That's good for smaller spaces, so like bathrooms. It's it's I was surprised how small it was, and I actually thought, there is no way I'm going to get any scent out of this. But I keep having to turn it off, because we put it in the bathroom upstairs and leave the door open, and it fills the hall up within about 20 minutes. And remember, you're getting 40 hours burn time. That's insane. That. Large candles. Love the large candle. If you like your large candles, it's actually fantastic. Emma, I couldn't agree more. So, these are £17.50, but you're getting 90 hours of burn time see, out of that. £17.50, see honestly, see for the quality of that, you would expect to see a candle with that in Harrods. Yeah. In fact there are in shops like that and they're selling for about 45 50 quid. Yeah. And I wouldn't give them the money, I'd go there. I wouldn't go any cheaper because you no. need to get the balance right and that's definitely worth it. So Joe's favourite, Reed oh, Diffuser. Remember, flip the Reed. Okay. So they are twenty pounds. Yep. Now a lot of people might think mm, twenty pound for a reed diffuser, but if it's lasting you anywhere from six to nine months, yeah. you know you're not going to get that off any other reed diffuser that you buy in a shop. Yeah. So it's definitely Thank a you, good Tina. investment. Thanks, T Tina. Tina, whilst we're live, could you leave a comment just to give us your feedback? Then you have said it smells amazing. Would you Would you get one again? I hope this is actually properly live. Tina can let us know. Um, okay. The room sprays are six pounds again as i said um they're odor neutralizing and they're absolutely amazing so i think they're the you know one of my favorite things um the aroma beads are three pound the aroma beads are like the surprise of the mix because they do last a hell of a long time yeah um and it's for your car and stuff car air fresheners definitely for cars traveling. bathrooms Dog beds, underneath them obviously. Um, handbags, suitcases. Um, where else? I mean... Everywhere. Everywhere. In your drawers. Put them in your drawers. Your furniture drawers. Yeah, aye, in your furniture drawers. Like. Or maybe you've got a date and you just want to have a wee pair on you. No. You never know. No, too far. <laughs> too far. Too far. Um, so actually, Dev's going to kill me for that. Yeah, I'm going to kill you for that. <laughs> um, we've also got more products as well but we don't really want to go through 
everything with you, but those we've are the, got those are the big products. But you'll see a list. You know, we'll, we'll we'll attach a link to the magazine, which gives you all the products after this video. If you do want to order, um, you can contact us on our page or David's page directly, at David at Darcy's, which is in this link. Um, but we will just keep talking about some of the other products before we move on. Kelly, that's brilliant. Kelly's just said that she's on month seven of her Greek diffuser. Oh my god! So I mean, twenty pounds—that's ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. Tina, I'll let you know ASAP as well about the aroma bead smells. So a couple of the other products that we do: we do body lotion and we do shower gel, and we also do a massage candle. Oh. Now this one is probably more for the couples in the room mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so the massage candle mm -hmm, mm -hmm. not us the massage candle is a, a double candle. wick candle and basically the purpose of the massage candle you light it until the wax pulls let it cool for a couple of seconds and then you pour it on your skin you massage it in and it's a, it's, it's almost a moisturising body candle um, which it'll is make your, just it'll make your skin feel amazing yeah. um, see because in fact you probably see we all got those tattoos in Turkey. So, like, see for things like that yeah. to really bring the skin out, I think that would be really good for things like that. Yeah, so massage candles for all the couples. Um, body lotion, oh, just shower gel. Yourself. Yes, that too. Um, body lotion, shower gel, and we also do soy tea lights. Now, my personal opinion is if you're going to burn soy wax melt, use soy tea lights because... Yeah. You're defeating the purpose of using a really good soy product, but then you're going to burn a, a paraffin tea light. Yeah, you're just ruining the whole point. And with the paraffin tea lights, if any of you have got oil burners, check the underside of where the oil goes, and it's probably black and sooty, and that's because of the paraffin tea lights that you're using. Um, we also have rollerball perfumes. Now, I've never tried them myself, so I would say that Jackie and Claire... If you can do an aftershave range, please do of rollerballs. That would be absolutely fantastic. That's a good thing to say, actually, because there is a, a Darcy's men's range, the Mister Darcy range. Yep. Some of the smells, oh my god, yeah, so nice, so manly, but really nice for like for men to get involved as well because you've got a thing about man candles. Yeah, so man candles, or as I call them, mandals. So that's for the men in your life. Um, mandals, but. As I say, we do rollerball perfumes as well. They're 5ml little rollerball ones. I don't have any of them now because I obviously don't wear perfume. Um, but people that I have spoke to said they're absolutely amazing. They're brilliant just to like, pop in your handbag if you don't want to take a big bottle of perfume with you. They're really good for travelling as well. The smell lasts all day as well mm -hmm. because it's, it's, yeah. it's concentrated oil. It's like literally taking the oil from these candles and products and actually bottling it so you can put it on your skin and that's just another example of how safety conscious and you know natural these products are. There's no there's no harmful chemicals in them yeah. right through to the oils they use um, and that shows a lot of special in this day and age. Yeah. You know? So that's, that's the products that we do. Um, and there is a lot of gift sets available as well, especially coming up to Christmas. Some of the gift sets that we've got are fab. I can't wait okay. for Christmas stuff. However, can we talk about Halloween? Can you see Halloween I'm going sign? to talk about Halloween. So there's a Halloween sign. Happy Halloween! And. Ha ha! Oh, that's Santa. Quit your witching! Quit your witching. So. I've got the Christmas one with that soon. We have a special Halloween offer. You may have seen it, it's amazing. It's a flash sale. And it can only be purchased on the 18th of October. And it's a large double candle. So, large candle, and it's got two cents in the one candle. And it's... <laughs> Hocus, Ho Hocus Locus. Hocus Locus. Do you mean Hocus Pocus, Jacqueline? <laughs> uh, just steaming. So, it's not Hocus Pocus. It's called Angel by Day, Alien by Night. And it's one of our inspired by. I think you can guess who it's inspired by. We think obviously of, can't tell you. Think of those two cents though. Angel. Hi Eva. Hi um, Eva. Think of those two cents though together. They're nice enough on their own. But imagine having it starting as that angel scent. And then burning through it into Alien. I think anyone that's not ordered. You have to get on this. Because it's going to be the biggest and most 
probably your biggest seller because you got yeah. didn't you get like 15 orders in like 10 minutes when you launched it on yeah. Tuesday it's uh, the two cents on their own are amazing I, I love both of them um, so for this we are doing a large double candle and how much is say, angel by day alien by night so the large candle is normally seventeen fifty. Normally, when we do an offer like this, the large candle is fifteen pounds. But no, we're not doing fifteen pounds. So doing? we're going to do it for twelve. Shut up. So twelve pounds large candle, and it's only available to buy on the eighteenth. But we are taking pre-orders for it. That's amazing. I know, but I'm feeling generous. We so go do something else. What? Okay. What we did. Did so, you? because of twelve pounds. Uh huh. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You can't. You can't do an offer. Why? I've already put more ordering. It doesn't matter. The offer's only valid during the video. Well, maybe until after that. But you've already ordered. So. Are you kidding me? Can't get your discounts anyway. Sorry, we're having a wee domestic here. Um. It so. Time. What What I'm going to do is. <laughs> Thanks, Carolyn. It's twelve pound for one, but I'm going to do a deal for anyone that's watching, and if he's want to order, just message me, and I'm going to do. I'll do two for twenty two. No, I'll do two for twenty pounds. What? Two large candles for twenty pounds. Normally retails in at thirty five, so you're saving fifteen pounds. Fifteen pound off. Fifteen. Oh my god! But you know what? You're never ever going to get a chance to get this ever again. Yeah, we're, so, we're never doing it again. It's a Halloween special. The so thing is, though, I just bought four. Sorry about that. Is he getting me on? <laughs> but do you know what, listen, I don't care because they're actually amazing. So see if you do want to order the 2 for 20, yeah. you have to comment on this video, hashtag 2 for 20, yeah. and message David at Darcy's as soon as this video ends, and make sure you say that, so that David knows, and yeah. you can make sure you get the right discount. Because 2 for 20 quid for candles like that are actually brilliant, because think how good that would be for Christmas presents. 2 for 20 pound, you know, a Christmas present for your mum, your gran, mm -hmm. your sister, your auntie, you know... Anyone, anyone that likes a, a, teacher, a nice smell, you know, things like that. Sure. Aye, but you know, some people buy for like kids' teachers and stuff. Mm. So I would say two for twenty, two for twenty. Okay, that's amazing. So I would say though, guys, like it's it's such a luxury scent, and I did order four. I did have plans to order four for um, Christmas presents. I'm no, I'm just putting them in other rooms. I'm, yeah. being, I'm being selfish because I. I'd, before we move on to the next bit, I do just want to say, like, I was, I'm a total convert on Darcy's candles. I didn't believe David at the start. But no, now, I didn't. Now I'm hooked, and I've found my favourite smells. I love them. Mm -hmm. um, Donna Marie, just put the wee kiss cosy thing in. If you don't know, just message. Um, but yeah, they're fantastic. Is that as done with Halloween? Yes. Oh my God! <laughs> okay, so everyone knows that Joe is absolutely Christmas daft, and... We've just released our Christmas range. Do you like my t-shirt? So. Team Elf. Darcy stocking as well. Darcy stocking. So Joe has not smelt these yet. I he have. He has not let me do this, but I'm so excited. So I've smelt them and I love them all. I can't pick a favourite because I think they're all absolutely fantastic. So what is the Christmas range? Tell us first. Tell, tell the people that are watching first. Right. So we have a new Christmas brochure and it's got, there we go. It's already tagged on the website as well, guys. Christmas brochure. So in our Christmas brochure, we have got four. Ooh. We've got four separate ranges. So we've got Christmas, First Foot, Sweet Shop, and the Inspired range. I've smelled them all. They're all amazing. So I'm just going to quickly go through the scents and let Joe smell them. And he can give you his reactions to what they are. Okie dokie. Now, remember, these are only my personal opinions. So. And, I, you know, if I don't like them, then it's not that you won't. It's just my personal opinion. Okay, thanks, Gillian. So, first one is Mrs. Claus Cookies. What's that? Oh. Mrs. Well, Claus. Well, this is the one Jackie gave you as a wee sneaky peek. Shh. <laughs> I'm only kidding. She gave you it last week. I'm smelling vanilla. So I'm smelling perfume. Mrs. Claus is baked sugar cookies with buttercream frosting and <sighs> notes of vanilla. Oh my god. That's lovely. Do you like it? Aye. Right, that's a good thing, guys. Mrs. Claus cookies actually smells like Christmas. It looks like a pure dodgy cotton bag though. Okay. Yeah, right, sorry okay. about that. Uh, the next one is... Oh, we're going American here. 
Eggnog. Eggnog. I don't like eggnog. It smells better than it tastes because eggnog stinks. Mm. That smells amazing. So. Eggnog. Okay. Now, guys, these do come in different packs. These are just my samples. Okay? Oh my god. Oh. Do you know what? It's quite fruity, but there's like nuttiness in it as well. Yeah, well, it's got cinnamon, nutmeg, and clove. I can really smell it. That's actually amazing. Do you like it? And can you get them in like what? Products can you get them in? Um, so they come in melts, Ooh. small candle, large candle, room spray. I might get that as a candle. And your Mrs. Claus cookies comes in a diffuser. Shut the front door. Seriously. Stroke the bus, get everybody off. Yep. <gasps> right, give it back. Right. Next we've got Festive Fig. Oh, you said this one was nice. This is amazing. The scent. Oh my god. Oh, that just smells like Christmas Eve. That's what Christmas Eve smells like to me. That's there you go. absolutely beautiful. Christmas Eve in a bag. That's beautiful. Okay, I like that. So what did I, what does this one come in? So the festive fig that comes in the same melt, small candle, large candle, and a room spray. Large candle. Thank you. Okay, cinnamon. Everyone smells cinnamon. Cinnamon's a weird thing, you know. A lot of people don't like cinnamon. Oh here, it's not overpowering. It smells like um, den. You know the dentine chewing gum used to get. I thought you were going to say it smells like a dentist. No, it doesn't smell like a dentist. I've never been to a dentist that smells like cinnamon. If it smelled like that, I would go and get jagged up all the time. That is just crazy. Right, what else? Right, so next we're going on to. They our were really good. First foot range. Keep my favourites. Okay. Right. So our first foot range. All the Scottish people know exactly what this is, but I know a lot of English and Irish people don't know what first footing is. So it's basically the first person... What is the first board? The, the, the first person through your front door <laughs> after the bells. And for those that don't know what the bells are... New Year's Eve, Paul Manet, the night before the next year. Right, so the first one. Iron brew. Iron brew? Iron I, brew. Brew for you? Brew. Brew for me? Iron brew. Iron brew for you. Does it smell like iron brew? It actually does. Oh my god! But do you want to know what iron brew it smells like? The Aldi iron no, brew? No, it doesn't smell like bars. Anybody remember Gerders? It does smell like Gerders? Anybody remember Gerders iron brew? It does actually smell like Gerders? It smells like Gerders. Do you know? I would, do you know what that would be? That would be nice in a kitchen. In the, I was thinking in the kitchen. No. Do you know what it would be nice? That would be nice in the summer. If anybody remembers Gerders, drop a wee emoji so we know. Gerders. Gerders. Carolyn, just so you know, it's diet iron brew. So, the next one is one of my favourites, Scottish tablet. Oh, now I'm not very good with sweet smells. That This is epic. Right, okay. This is... In the kitchen, you'd think somebody just baked it. Oh, do you know? It's so perfumey. Mm -hmm. But, and like, it's it's really sweet. But, but see, if you smell it, you can really smell the tablet at the back of it. It smells like tablet that's just out the oven. Aye. And that's a good Amazing. smell to have. But it's n but again, there's, do you know what I've noticed with Darcy smells? There seems to be like a signature perfume aroma that is yep. lined all the way through all of them. Yeah. And that's one of them. I would say Scottish tablets are better. Lovely. Yeah. Right, you ready for the next one, people? Raise a glass for a wee dram. What? A wee dram. What's a wee dram? A whiskey. Oh! A wee shot. Like a wee. I don't drink whiskey. I just drink everything else. So a wee dram. A wee dram. Now, actually... <clears throat> I, I can't drink whiskey, but this... <laughs> you can drink tequila. It smells amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be cheeky. Well, you can't. I'm sitting on your sack. Shut up. Oh! Oh! The wee jam's a belter. It doesn't... It's not as if you smell it and you go, Oh my God, I can smell whiskey, but there's enough in it to yeah. hit the tone. I would burn that all year round. Right. I actually think that's my favourite dove out of the whole lot. No. Really? I think... So far, a wee dram and eggnog are probably my favourite from the new range. Right, so last on the first foot range. I'd never heard of this before. Guys, tell me if you've heard of this. Clutty Dumpling. What? Clutty Dumpling. Clutty That's... Dumpling. You're Any a... ideas? You're a Clutty Dumpling, Dave. Clutty Dumpling. Oh. 
If anybody wants to send us a clue to dumpling so we can try it. And it's, it smells like Christmas pudding. I, can sm- so? I can smell the brandy and the raisins. I can. That would be, mm. nice, be a nice kitchen smell, guys. Really nice. Clue to dumpling. Mm-hmm. Right, next, sweet shop. Oh, oh, these are going to be mental. You ready for this? Aye. One of your favourite things. Fizzy cola bottles. Oh my god. Who does not love a fizzy cola bottle? See this, by the way. <clears throat> Amazing. Amazing. Oh my god, it actually does. Now, it smells like cola cubes. That's, we're also doing that in the Christmas brochure as a reed diffuser. I've got any money. And <laughs> the last time when the sweet shop range came out, uh-huh. the sweet shop range was like our best sellers. I might need to get the reed diffuser so, as well. There we go. Next one. Okay. Pear drops. I need to keep, I keep moving down, so I need to sit up so you can see my beautiful. Pear drops. drops. Who doesn't love pear drops? That is like total. Hold on. Oh, do you know if I see if I was drunk or I just couldn't see what I was looking at, I would have ate that. That actually does taste like a pear drop and smells like a pear drop as well. That's amazing. Awesome. I like that. Mm. So next, rhubarb and custard. Yeah, rhubarb and custard. If you love rhubarb and custard, you love, love, love it. No. No. Not for you? No, no. Not at all? That's giving me heartburn. Really? Because I don't like rhubarb and custard. Right. But okay. that's how close that is to rhubarb and custard, that it's giving me the vote. Guys, <laughs> for anyone that loves rhubarb and custard as well, we also have an offer on just now where it's £15 for the reed diffuser. Really? For rhubarb and custard. Oh, that's good. Right, so on to my favourites. Emma, the cola bottles are definitely amazing. I think I'm going to amazing. get the reed diffuser. There's also Parma Violets as part of the sweet shop range, but... Can you go with that one? No, they were asked out my samples. Oh. But we'll get them, don't worry. Okay. Um, right, next is the Inspired By, which I love. So we've what does got... It mean? See, when you say Inspired By, what does that mean? So it's Inspired By Another. Another? So the one that I'm going to give you the now, right? So Black Pepper is Inspired By Molten Brown. Do you like Molten Brown? Oh, did you get that bit like John Lewis and stuff, don't you? Yeah. So Black Pepper. Black Pepper, I love this. It's so black peppery. peppery and spicy and I love it. Oh, it's very manly. It's beautiful. It smells see if you it smells like when you're just at the bath and you've just had a good shower chill yeah. on you. That's, so that's gonna smell by Molten Brown. Yeah. The next one is Noir, which is inspired noir. by Joe Malone. Joe Malone? Joe Malone. On his own. You know how those expensive Joe Malone candles? You can get them in Aldi as well. Oh yeah, we smell them. Honking. Honking. Oh, that's lovely as well. I like the noir. Yeah, so that's a noir. That's, that's really, really good. Next. Oh, that is good. Hold on. I like that. I like that. Right, so this one, I'll just tell you the name because you're going to know who it's inspired by. Lady Millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Millionaire. We've been there. Oh, big pack. I'll be proud. That is beautiful. If you've not had this yet or you missed out on the £15 weed diffuser, try that. If you love your perfumes and all that thing, especially Angel by Night, yeah, uh, Angel by Day, Alien by Night, you'll love the Lady Millionaire as yeah. well. I highly recommend it. Last but not least, this is my absolute favourite. Okay? You ready for this? It's called Shanghai Blossom. Oh, I'm going to love it. And it's inspired by Tom Ford. <gasps> oh, geez, geez, geez. Shanghai Blossom. This smell is sensational. Oh my god. Oh. Do you like that? It smells like perfume. It smells like aftershave. And it's still got that signature Darcy's aroma. Yep. Um, wow. That's amazing. Talk for two seconds and let me pick my right. top ones. So you pick the top. I'm going to talk for two seconds. So the Christmas range, Mrs. Claus eggnog, festive fig and vanilla and cinnamon. They all come in melts, candle, room spray and the cinnamon and Mrs Claus, they come with a diffuser as well. We've also got some other wee gift sets. I'm going to show you a wee picture if you can see this. Okay, so you've got the candle trio there, which is your eggnog, your festive fig, your Mrs Claus and that's 20. You've got your Mrs. Claus gift set. 
Watson, is, is that the thing that... And you've got the festive gift set, I think. So I've already seen the catalogue, and I did, thank God, I picked well, because I've already yep. ordered the Mrs. Claus gift set. Um, so I'm quite excited. Some more wee gift sets. Now, with the the first foot range, the Inspired range, and the Sweet Shop range, you can actually buy them in packs of four melts for £2. That's really good. Or Just you to them. can buy as a gift set, and it's basically all four in a gift set, which comes in one of our wee Darcy's blue bags. Ah. So you're getting 60 melts for £8 in the coming wee gift set, which is absolutely fab. Fabulous. I think. Um, we've got some Christmas oil burners. I love these. They're so cute. The snowflake one is my favourite. Uh, do you know um, David actually took me down to the warehouse, the workshop. Yeah. Um, and I was, I was, I felt like, I swear to God, I was like a wayne in a sweet shop, um, because it was just so interesting. Yeah. Um, see how when you hear like, it seems to be the really popular thing where everyone's getting away from the mass produced thing. Everyone wants that sense of home, that sense of handmade craftsmanship. Yeah. And it was great to see everything lined up and people just hand pouring the jars. Yeah. Making the oils, making the wax. It was fascinating. It was amazing. Yeah. I, and it was just so good to see it. Yeah. And I, I managed to see some of the, the oil burners and they're huge. Yeah. The snowflake one is absolutely gorgeous. Yep. And when you put the tea light in, it glistens as well. It's absolutely stunning. So pretty. So it is. Does everyone notice our Darcy stocking? Oh yeah. Product placement. So, so. so that's all the products that we do. The... The new Christmas scents, the first foot range, the inspired by and the sweet shop, um, that absolutely fantastic. We've covered Halloween. As I said, I'm going to do you a deal, which is going to be two large alien angel candles for twenty yeah. pounds. For anyone that's just joined, hello. So, um, but David is talking about a brand new offer for Halloween, the flash sale. It was a large candle for twelve quid, already saving you. £5.50. £5.50. But he's going to make you save 15 quid by offering two for 20 quid. I'm just reiterating that because I've just ordered four of them and he never yep. tells me nothing about this order because he doesn't give me a discount. Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. But it's fine. That's fine. I love him really. So, um, that's us covered everything. We're going to put links to the normal brochure and the Christmas brochure as well. Yeah. Um, if you want to buy anything, let us know. Um, if anyone's got any questions, fire away. Yep, so for the next couple of minutes, we're going to give you guys a chance, whoever's watching right now, to ask any questions you may have for David. Um, it is his business. Um, he's worked really hard on it. And he's really keen to see that, you know, from this live video that, you know, we can get orders in because, you know, I'm supporting him in it and I want him to do well and I think it's a great business for him. And I think if you've got any questions, please, n now is your time. Now is your time. Or if you can't think of anything just now and something crops up, message me. Let me know. So, any questions for, for Davidoff before we depart for the evening? Jacqueline, you, the Christmas brochure is amazing. Yep. It really is. Amazing. Oh, Stephanie, two seconds. Two seconds. Um, I need to tell you about what my favourite Christmas ones were. So, my recommendations from the ranges he gave for Christmas was eggnog. I think if you want a Christmas smell and you want a wee bit more adventurous, try the eggnog. A wee dram is actually, it's Hogmanay in a bag. Um, it's brilliant. The cola bottles is fantastic. I'm definitely going to get the reed diffuser, I think, now. Yeah. I was going to get the eggnog reed diffuser, but I'm going to get that and get the eggnog large candle. Yeah. Shanghai Blossom, all the way. Um, Jacqueline, you will love Mrs. Claus cookies. Mrs. Claus cookies smells um, amazing. Stephanie, the oil um, burners are £12. I just saw no. that question come up. Did yeah, not? That's just, for the snowflake. Snowflake one's £12. The love heart and the glass one is 15 It's a wee picture there, Stephanie, again. I'll comment, Sorted. I'll comment now, if anyone's got um, any other questions, I'll bring them up. Aye, Jacqueline, you can have a wee look at the brochures, um, but I've got samples of every single scent that we do, um, so I can even pop around with the whole sample set, 
um, and let you smell them um, and you can have a wee choose of what one's your favourites. Anybody else? I just noticed that a couple of other people have just joined back okay. so hello um, but yes definitely the burners are great um, Jacqueline the diffusers I would definitely recommend looking at the brochure there are some betters the Christmas scents they've got with diffusers um, what about the original ones right, so well, if you tell Jacqueline the Christmas ones let's have a look let's have a wee swatch so, Look at us being all prepared. So, Jacqueline, your reed diffusers and your normal scents are Mojito, Lady Darcy, Je Tem, Black Raspberry and Vanilla, Moonlight Pomegranate, Monkey Farts, Cozy Snuggles, Mr. Darcy, Mr. Darcy 007, Thanks, Mr. Stephanie. Darcy Splash, Relaxation and Pink Sugar. But you'll see them all in the brochure. Um, we'll send you the link for it. Um, Carolyn, if you look on David at Darcy's main page, it's actually pinned to the top of the page. Yeah. Um, I can bring it, if you're at the 10 o'clock class tomorrow, I can show you it as well. Yeah, um, and get Joe to bring it along yeah. for you. And Carolyn, if you want, you can even bring some of the Christmas scents. Yeah. Bring it, have a wee smell of if you want. Yeah. Um, Jacqueline, the reed diffusers, it's Mrs. Claus cookies, cinnamon, cinnamon and cola, cola bottles. bottles for the um, Christmas. I would get cola bottles. I, I would recommend cola bottles. But wait a minute. We need to remember that actually the Miss, the Angels by Day, Aliens by Night, David's offering two large candles for 20 quid. You have to sort this out. Yeah. Two for 20. Please. Okay. I, I can't, I can't, I usually don't put, tell people just to buy them, but you have to buy them because this is never going to happen again. Two for 20. Ever. Is what We can only buy it on the 18th. Okay, but it's available to order just now, but we can only place the order on the 18th. It's £12, it normally retails at £17.50, but I'm doing two for 20 because I'm feeling generous. It's never ever going to happen again. Ever, ever, ever going to get it again. Um, so I think that's us, we're going to wrap it up. If you've got any questions, pop us a message at David at Darcy's. Um, share the page with your friends, your family, anybody you know. Ask them to like it and share our video as well. Share the video, spread the word. Um, but well done, I think a round of applause to David. Um, because, you know, I'm really proud of you for doing a business yourself. It's good that you've got this candle business. You've got a lot of support. But everyone now has to buy at least one of your candles if you have watched. Absolutely. Um, but, and yeah, well done. We'll do, next time we do a live. I think we'll do it maybe in about a month's time. We'll do it in about a month's time. But just keep your eyes peeled for that event. Because um, there will certainly be maybe a game or two. <gasps> Can we do a game? Maybe a giveaway or two as well. We'll do some competition. We'll have, like, maybe we'll do like, a Christmas fun night. Yes. Christmas fun night. Okay? So, thanks for joining us, guys. Really appreciate it. Thanks, and guys. if you've got any questions, let us know. Okay? Bye! Bye! Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.